Hey, how's it going? Hopefully uh, you're having a nice day. I've seen uh, many different uh, St. Michael uh, statues, but I really haven't seen one as cool as this one. This is, uh, this is pretty nice right here. Uh, actually, I've had um, a St. Michael's uh, statue in front of my house for, let me see, uh, ooh, I wanna say maybe over, uh, over 25 years. Um, and, and it all started, uh, me and my wife were at a, um, one of these garden centers, you know, many years ago. And I saw one, uh, you know, nothing as beautiful as this one over here. And uh, for some reason, it just uh, jumped out at me and almost said, like, to buy me, you know. So uh, I bought it. And uh, me and my buddy, uh, again, Peter Bell, uh, he uh, used to work with me back when I had my construction company. And we uh, put it on a nice base and everything. And uh, it, it was pretty cool. Actually, uh, once I redid the, uh, the front of the house uh, years ago, because of what it is, I had one of those houses where I bought a, a fixer-upper and uh, we fixed everything up and, and that right there was, uh, was an adventure. I wouldn't uh, advise that uh, to someone to do that again, but, you know. Uh, but it, it was definitely an experience, so we did it. Uh, when we were all done, we were happy with the whole project. But uh, it's something uh, very uh, challenging to go through a construction project. Uh, actually, when you have to uh, to live amongst the construction and stuff. And at the time, I had uh, small kids and stuff, you know. So, uh, but but anyway, getting back to the St. Michael's uh, statue, yeah, you know. So it ended up being like a, a focal centerpiece uh, in front of the house you know it's like I had the lights and stuff on it and uh it was it was pretty cool this right here is beautiful and it's just uh ironic uh like about uh two weeks ago you know I you know I mentioned I go to the flea market and I saw one at the flea market again it was uh, much smaller than this it's a nice uh almost looks like ivory piece from uh from Italy and I actually bought that I didn't know what I was going to do with it at the time, um, but I decided to sit it on my desk, you know, maybe at some point um, during the lives and stuff, if I'm in the office, I'll flash over to it and just uh, share it with you. But uh, anyway, this is uh, definitely a good part right here. This just reminds me of, and when I look at this, reminds me of my uh, statue that I got, you know, once we finished our construction. And also, um, I went to Catholic school, you know, so uh, <laughs> this also uh, brings back uh, fond memories of my uh, younger years uh, in grade school and stuff. I, actually, I went to a Catholic middle school and my first year of high school was actually a Catholic school. So uh, anyway, I just uh, thought this was pretty cool. I uh, thought I'd share it. And, uh, just look at the detail of it. You know, it's, this this right here is the type of uh, thing where it uh, it just speaks to you without even saying anything. You know, uh, I guess this is what I referred to on one of my other lives: non-verbal communication. Uh, anyway, uh, make it a great day, and, and I'll see you on the next live. But this is definitely uh, the good parts right here. You know. This is a bit of uh, mysticism, religion, um, art, uh, all rolled into one. Uh, let me just switch the camera over to show my face so I can say hello. All right, take care, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next live.